Hey everybody, Curseus here. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to build a near perfect castle in Total War Kingdom Battles Kingdom. Uh, just you know to point out that it's not possible to get 100% bonuses on all buildings. In fact, I think that would be impossible, but or maybe just very improbable. But uh, but we're going to go ahead and explain it and show you anyway. So first, you build your castle here, like I did. I unlock the other the next zone so I, I can do this now so you build your castle now the castle is needed to for the bonus on the on the um, military buildings like the knight's manor and you know archery ranges and barracks so and stables so you need that next to them so you're going to surround your castle with your uh, basic military buildings like whatever you want whatever troops you want to come out of this uh particular castle town so next they also require a church next to them now you can only build a total of nine churches one for each uh uh command power in battle so you can only have two churches her town and one of your towns is going to have one church i'm pretty sure in fact let me count one two three four five six uh, two four no 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 uh two of your towns is going to have one church pretty sure Anyways, so, no, three, three of your towns is going to have one church. So you're going to have to ch choose which three towns are going to have one church, and therefore not going to have quite as much bonus coming out of it with the troops as the other towns. Now, also, the military buildings require the tavern to be next to them. So... You're going to build the tavern next in between two, at least two of your military buildings. You don't want to fully surround it by military buildings because the tavern also needs, you know, it needs to be, it needs to be surrounded by at least three military buildings, you know, at least one church and two other buildings so that it has three soldiers, garrison soldiers filling the craftsman slots. But after that though, you are going to require that you build some other uh, buildings. So, because, because you can't, like I say, you can't fill everything up because you can only build so many buildings, you can't fill it all up with uh, military buildings and blacksmiths and taverns. In fact, you can only have one tavern anyway, so. <laughs> so anyways, after you build the tavern, maybe two, maybe two churches, like I said, you're gonna have three towns with one tur one church, and the other uh, other th three three are gonna have two. So you're gonna have to choose which three towns are gonna have two churches. And I chose this one to have two churches because I'm gonna want to make my uh, javelin throwers out of this town. And since I have the castle, a church, and the tavern next to both of these archery ranges. The javelin throwers that come out of it are going to have plus five ranged attack value in battle, and that's pretty strong. So, next, the tavern only receives uh, bonuses from nearby military buildings, so you don't have to worry about where you place that for the most part. But the next part, uh, blacksmiths, they also require just military buildings next to them, so... Just build military buildings next to them. Then you have a market. Which the market will give you... Sorry, I tabbed out for a second. Uh, the market will give your residential buildings a bonus to how long it takes them to produce citizens. And so does the tavern. Which is why, like I said, you can't no, don't just surround the tavern with military buildings because the tavern is required for your houses and stuff. But I'm not going to build just any houses here. We're going to go ahead and raise the terrain on these two. 
right here. Get the train up. And then we're going to build mansions. On these two spots. Now, like as I point out now, the blacksmith next to the one mansion here is giving it plus 10%, a 10% reduction on how long it takes to produce uh, citizens or possible craftsmen. Now, also, we're going to want to put a blacksmith right here so that this one is also receiving that bonus. Now, in order for both of these to get the 50% bonus, they have to have the market next to them. So we're going to build the market right in between both of them. And boom. Now these particular mansions produce, uh, you know, craftsmen or c citizens and, and five hours instead of ten. Which is very good, is the way you want it. Next we'll just build regular houses around the uh, market here. So now this one, this house will produce, you know, craftsmen or citizens. Although houses produce citizens, citizens more often than craftsmen, but they can produce, you know, more, better. And we're going to build... Oop, rank 1 castle can't support any more stuff. But that's okay, I can fix that. Uh, we have to connect this town. Let's see. I believe the road is going to start here. We have to connect this town to uh, another town. Which I'm going to get back to you guys as soon as I do. Because it takes a, a few seconds and it's going to take a long time to do this. So once... Okay, so... We have connected our town to the other town, which is connected to the all the other towns, and so therefore, you know, this town is now connected to all the stuff it means. And I put the extra, I put in the ex, the ten walls that are required for the upgrade. So we're ready to upgrade this castle so we can build more buildings. So let's go ahead and build it. And it requires seven gold to speed up, so I will go ahead and do that. And by the way, that's the other thing about this game is good, is that the freemium isn't too expensive so that's a good thing but anyway so now we can build more buildings so let's go ahead and build like i said another blacksmith right here now you can build markets a certain amount of markets per castle uh, I'm not sure how many it is, but but still, um, markets are one of the things required for houses. So we're going to put that market right there. And then we're going to build more houses, because we need more houses. And churches also get bonuses from houses being nearby. If you want to surround one church with six houses, six residences, then your cooldown on the, 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 the battle power in that particular church will be reduced by 10% during battle, which is pretty good depending on what power you want to cool down. But as you can see, though, now we have several houses that have bonuses. Lots and lots of bonuses. And we have two mansions with full bonuses, which is what you want. You want at least have two mansions that have the full bonuses so that you're producing you're producing citizens around every five hours, which you're going to need. And we're also going to build another blacksmith. Oh, no, my castle can't produce any, hold any more houses. Uh, 20 walls and a whole lot of stone and silver. So yeah, I'm not going to get to that upgrade today. But as I hope like you guys can see the uh, see how this works. So let's go ahead and recap, you know, TLDR. Military buildings require the church and the castle and the tavern next to them to get full bonus. The tavern and blacksmiths 
require military buildings next to them to have free worksmen, work, you know, free craftsmen. Houses, residences require a blacksmith, a market, and the tavern next to them to have full reduction on how long they take to produce citizens. And markets require military buildings as well, which is kind of uh, needed because craftsmen give the market plus 2% to exchange rates, which you'd need to be able to trade your silver in for a lot of stuff. And over at churches require residences if you want to have better cooldowns on your powers in battle. So really, that's it. Just remember all the the, the main things about what, what you need to uh, surround your buildings with. Get full bonuses. Make sure you get as many as craft, craftsmen replacements from the military buildings as possible in, in the big ones, especially the tavern. The tavern is a big one because tavern eats up craftsmen like crazy. But otherwise, that's it, you guys. I hope this video helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, uh, I'm only going to put out these couple of tutorials. And unless there's like big demand for more Total War Battles Kingdom content, I'm probably not going to make too many other videos. Especially like PvP or battles or something. Unless, of course, people are asking for it. If you want to ask for it, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment below. And... I mean, that's it. So thank you for watching, you guys. I hope this helped out, and I'll see you in the next video.